Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Popo Man five inch brushless cordless angle grinder. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item or wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Here's how it goes packaged you in a nice and simple retail box. We can see their slogan on the side, and then on the back we have a QR code and all of their contact information and social media handles. I wanna point out too, this does feature a 10,000 RPM motor, and it comes with a 20 volt, four amp battery, which can be used with Tecpo 20 volt cordless tools as well. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up we have your user manual right here in multiple languages. They also have their customer support information on the back. Next you can see we have five grinding wheels right here and we can look at the other side as well. Then we have our 20 volt, four amp hour lithium ion battery. So we can check that out too. And then we can look at the bottom side as well. Then we have your battery charger, complete with a wall plug to plug into your standard outlets. We even have a charging light indicator as well to give you the status of your battery. We also have a removable handle for the angle grinder with a removable tool in it. And then last but not least, we have the angle grinder itself right here. So you can see brushless, their logo. We have a green and black color scheme right there. We can look at this side too. So we can see we have our spindle lock and then we have our power on and off and we can actually lock that into place too for continuous use. And then we can just flip the switch back off if we don't want to use it that way. We can look at this side too and learn more about the model number right there and some more technical details for you. We can see where the battery is gonna be installed at the base of the unit. And then we can look at this side as well too, to be able to install our grinding wheels right there with this nice protective cover. Now let's go ahead, let's set this up. To install the handle on the grinder, just gently twist it into place. We have three different options where we can install the handle on the grinder. You can see we have one option on this side, one at the top, and one at the other side. Once you select the spot where you wanna install the handle, just line the threads up and start to gently twist it into place and then make sure at the end you have it nice and tight. Now let's go ahead, let's install the grinding wheel. So the first step to install your grinding wheel is to remove the battery from your grinder. Once the battery is removed, let's go ahead, let's pull out our installation tool. Then we can go to the other side. You can see we have this lock nut right here that we need to remove. So we can insert the tool like that and we can move it about freely right now. But as you can see, the motor's moving with the tool and with the lock nut. So we have to go to the other side, hold down the motor lock button. Now we can come back here, rotate it around until it's locked into place. Now it's locked into place, so we can go ahead and we can twist it off. Then we can use our fingers to remove it the rest of the way. Once we have it removed, we're ready to go ahead and put on the new grinding wheel, just like you see right here. Then let's go ahead, let's finger tighten it back down with the locking nut. So get that into place, tighten it back down. Now we're gonna reverse the process that we just did. So we're gonna hold down the locking button again, and this time we're gonna rotate it the other way. So it's locked in place right now, and now we can really tighten it back down. Now that it's tight and in place, let's go ahead, let's put our tool away. So we can slide it right back in the handle for safekeeping. Now we're ready to reinstall the battery. So go ahead, you can see right here, it's just gonna slip into place and it clips on, and now we're ready to use the grinder. So before operating and using this device, make sure you're wearing proper safety gear. You can see on the top of the wheel, they actually have the icon showing you what you need to wear. You can also consult the user manual. You're gonna to wanna to protect your ears, your hands, your face, and your eyes. So now let's go ahead with the proper gear in place. Let's try it out. So we had no issues at all grinding down this piece of metal and then grinding it directly in half. Now let's try it out on a bolt. 
So we really smoothed down the bolt with those threads. Now let's go ahead, let's grind it the rest of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna change wheels out. I went ahead, I picked up this metal cutting disc at my local hardware store. They have that nice universal mount, so you can pick up a lot of different blades depending on the project you're trying to tackle. So let's go ahead, let's get this installed and let's cut some metal. So as you can see, we can cut and grind a wide variety of materials. I'm really pleased that we can just go to the hardware store and pick up some additional wheels when we need them. I do want to point out this wheel that I picked up to cut metal specifically, its hole was a little bit tinier, but it was still able to fit around the thread so we could clamp it on and tighten it down. I'm really pleased with the 20 volt, four amp hour battery as well. I made additional cuts that you didn't get to see in this video and we still have two out of the three light bars lit up for the battery. And I wanna point out, it's just so simple and easy to use this product. And I just love that it's cordless as well with that big battery so you're able to do all your projects with ease and not have anything to worry about, no cords to accidentally cut into or anything along those lines. The grip is really nice. Love that they give us the little slot for our tool right there. I think that's really clever engineering and design. And I love the locking trigger in place too. So we can focus on holding it properly and not have to worry about keeping our thumb stressed to power the device and keep it running. So overall guys, definitely impressed with this product. If you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily. Don't want you to miss anything. Please follow us online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website. Join our free newsletter, guys. Follow us on Twitch and join our Discord server as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.